the first and simplest example that we are going to do um, with the linear momentum balance is just simply consider a solid rocket motor on a test bed. So we're going to consider a rocket motor, looks kind of like this, and there's the nozzle exit, okay, and then take those out. Right, imagine this motor is fixed on a stand so it doesn't move we don't have to worry about a moving control volume and we uh, you know the uh, typical setup is that there's um, solid propellant over here and it burns it emits um, hot gases into the chamber and they burn and then they expand and then they generate uh, momentum and that momentum pushes the motor in this direction Okay, so for this, we're going to take a control volume. It looks like this. Okay. And we're going to pick the exit surface far away so that um, the pressure force on the surface is nearly equal to the atmospheric pressure. Because remember, yes, this is a control volume, but there's always a surrounding atmosphere on the control surface, right? And the control volume, that's exerting a pressure force um, everywhere on this surface, okay? Um, now, if this force is equal um, on, um, if, if the atmospheric, if the pressure is equal on all surfaces, then the net force, that pressure force is zero. So the integral of um, minus P and dS is equal to zero um, when the pressure um, is equal everywhere. Anyway, um, so we don't have to worry about that. But in this case, um, this is our control volume. That's why we selected a surface far away. And we're going to assume a velocity of um, u exit over here, ue. It's going to assume it uniform. And application of the linear momentum balance tells us that um, d by uh, dt of the integral of rho u dv control volume minus m dot in u in plus m dot out u out is equal to the only force exerted let's call this f um, f e okay now this is a steady flow so this guy is gonna be zero there's no change in time because it's a steady flow there's no inlet velocity into the control volume the only thing that changes is m dot out u out so that gives us the thrust force f e is m dot out um, u exit or m dot e u e and that's a very basic formula for uh, uh, for thrust or you know you have jet that's um, you have a hose that's putting out water that's how you calculate the force that you have to exert on the uh, on the jet or on the hose to kind of maintain it now the role of the combustible um, material over here is to increase um, um, the the mass out and the u exit as much as possible to generate um, to generate a lot of um, uh, a lot of thrust.